Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install CM11 uh, Cyanogen Mod 11 ROM on the Motorola Moto G. Uh, now uh, you should download the three files which I provided below. Uh, just go to I'll show you ES File Explorer CM11 4.4. Zip and G apps and the Super SU. So uh, now uh, your phone needs to be rooted and clockwise mode recovery needs to be installed. Now go to this link to go to the my, go to my last video of how to how to root and install CWM on the Motorola Moto G. Now before you proceed, uh, you should download an application called Titanium Backup uh, and just uh, take the backup of all your application in case your device uh, may be formatted but your SD card won't but if you are stuck on the stuck on a boot loop then you have to format your SD card too so make sure you take a backup uh, and see backup all user apps plus data um, just take the backup I'll be back uh, after taking up the backup it's almost over now if you choose uh, install all apps with user data it will back up all your passwords accounts and etc and uh, it, uh, you can install the APKs once again that's why I recommend this app now I recommend you to uh, transfer this data to your computer or to the pen drive using the OTE support I'll just transfer it uh, to my pen drive so that if you are stuck in a boot loop you can just format the SD card from there itself now connected the pen drive so let's go to the ES file explorer the USB disk I'll just transfer it I'll be back when it transfers I have transferred to backup now now let's boot up into recovery mode I'll see you when I boot up into recovery now you're in the recovery mode so before installing any ROM just uh, make sure you backup uh, your present ROM stock which is the stock ROM I'll just go to um, backup and restore and uh, and choose backup to SD card since I've already backed it up so uh, I won't do it just choose it and go back and wipe data factory reset now go to wipe cache partition and wipe cache now go to mountain storage oh I'm sorry advanced and wipe Dalvik, Dalvik cache now just go to install zip and choose zip from SD card it will most probably probably be in zero slash just go to cm11 kitkat is down and press the power button it may take some time I'll be back when it installs now the CM11 file installed. Now just go again to choose the from SD card zero slash, and now go to G apps. And install it. G apps are the Google apps.
is install play store gmail etc google apps now go if you want to root your device from now just choose it from sd card zero slash and install super sue now just go back and reboot your system means the phone it may take some time as it's the first boot you can see the I'll sign it in more lower. Uh, if it takes more than five minutes, uh, just go back to your uh, recovery folder it may not take but there are chances you, uh, you might be stuck in a boot loop i'll be back when uh, it installs or uh, like opens the phone now i am in cyanogen mode installed successfully and then just to english united states it's uh, same like the i'm sorry next I'll just skip all the things right now. Now you can see I'm in the sand in my room. It is a pretty good interface. Let's go to seconds and check it out. On the Moto G Sun is in more version. Uh, now Android 4.4.4. Let's see the things. So you can see. Now you can just enable the torch from over here. There are many features in this ROM. Uh, I'm going to show you this one by one in my next video which will be the full review of this ROM so and I'm working on a video to how to make your uh, how to theme your phone like a pro uh, so stay tuned please subscribe thanks for watching